The way we play Black Ops 1 has been changed on PC. Welcome to how to install Plutonium T5. Let's get into it. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to actually follow the guide. We're going to go to our C drive onto our file explorer here. And we're just going to simply create a folder called games. Now, do keep in mind that you actually can put this anywhere on your PC. You can choose which drive you want to even put it in if you have multiple drives. Um, if you don't have any other drives, that's fine. You can leave it on your C drive. Or if you've already downloaded Plutonium games in the past, then you could put, you know, maybe Black Ops 1 in that folder. So, But we're going to go ahead and continue as if you've never installed this ever. So we're going to go ahead and continue. So let's go ahead and go back to our guide here. And what we need to do is we need to go ahead and download this torrent file. Now, here's the thing. I am not a huge fan of torrents. If you own Black Ops 1 on uh, Steam, then use your Steam copy. If you don't own it on Steam, then they do provide a torrent file here. I always recommend being on a VPN. There are a few VPNs out there that are free. I don't really trust them. However, there is one that was recommended by the community. I'm going to go ahead and post that link down below in the description if you would like to use it. Um, guys, like I said, at your own risk, this is because torrenting is, you know, torrenting, but this is a trusted torrent so far, so um, you can go ahead and uh, use that if you'd like to. So we're going to go ahead and click on the torrent file. It's going to download. And I'm using Qubit Torrent. That's also something that they uh, recommend as well. So you can use Qubit Torrent. You can use uTorrent. That's a little bit of an older one, but I recommend Qubit Torrent. So we're going to go open that file. It's going to come up with a screen. It's going to be like, hey, where do you want to put this? And you just want to click OK. All right, so now we've actually started the torrent. we got to wait for it to uh, basically download. All right, so now that my Plutonium T5 download has finished on the torrent, I'm going to go ahead and delete the torrent file. You don't need that anymore. Uh, however, if you'd like to reference it, you can always keep it. All right, so now if we click in here, we, we see that we have uh, some files here. You may not see this BO mods. That's something that I've put in there, so just don't worry about it if you don't have it. However, you should see something really similar to this. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take all of these files. I'm going to highlight them all. I'm going to right click and copy them. I copy them just in case you may mess up on something and you need to refer back to these files, but I'm going to go ahead and just copy them from now and not cut them. Next, we're going to go to our back to our C drive here and we're going to go into our games folder again. Like I said before, if you have a games folder somewhere else, that's completely fine. Put it there instead. So we're going to double click on this. Let's make it a little uniform, right? And we're going to make a new folder called plutonium T5 and that'll be just fine. Go into that folder and paste. And then you gotta wait until it copies. All right, now that it's actually done copying, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my C drive. Again, you can create this folder anywhere that you want to, but if you've never downloaded or used Plutonium before, then you're gonna need the Plutonium launcher. We're gonna separate this just because out of necessity and just uniformity, I, I, I like to just separate things. So we're gonna create another folder. We're gonna call it Plutonium launcher just like so now we actually need to go get the launcher so i have another tab pulled up here in my browser and this is actually how to install the plutonium mod so this is the launcher and everything but i'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it so we're going to click download on it and instead of open file i'm going to open the file location which is going to be my downloads folder i'm going to cut this one and i'm going to paste it inside of that plutonium launcher folder that i created so now we're just going to double click it and we're going to let it do its thing. All right. So it's going to open the plutonium launcher like so. If you don't have an account, then you can actually go to the website that's down here. Um, I will actually show you it right now. We can just go to it. We can actually just go to the standard plutonium PW page. And I'm pretty sure we can go to the forum. And if you don't have an account, then you can hit register and just fill out all your information here. I would use a password that's more unique. You would suggest just using maybe a password manager of some sort, so that way you don't use your same password on multiple websites. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in. All right, so now that I'm logged into the Plutonium Launcher, you're gonna click on this icon here where it says T5 Multiplayer. You're gonna click on that and you're gonna see something similar. I know my screen is a little blocked off here just because I have some scalability going on during tutorials. I wanna make sure you guys can see things clearly. So, but you're gonna see a setup button here. We're gonna go ahead and click on it. It's gonna basically tell you that it needs to find your game folder and your game folder is simply gonna be in that one folder that we created earlier called games. And that was of course located on your C drive. 
like I said, referring back to this entire tutorial, if you have another uh, games folder or something else you want to put it in, that's fine. You just need to make sure the location is correct. So let's get, click on that. And we're going to click on a plutonium T5 folder and not go anywhere else other than select folder. And bada bing, bada boom, you're all done. You just hit play. And we are officially in plutonium T5. From here, you can go ahead and hit play, hit server browser, refresh, and find any servers you would like to play on. Right now, it is highly populated. So I suggest moving on and getting into it. All right, guys. Well, I really appreciate everything. Make sure you subscribe. Drop a like on this if this really did help you. It was a pretty much quick tutorial. Hopefully, I can do quicker ones in the future as well. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try to create a more in-depth tutorial on Plutonium T5 to maybe show you some little tricks and, and things like that. Right now, there's no unlock all, so there's a way you have to do it. So I might create a separate video on doing some tips and tricks for Plutonium T5. Anyway, guys, my name has been Leon. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.